Actually, can I do it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it, because you can turn a regular chair into a really cool uh, posing stool. Just put your right bum, like on the very edge, and then lean until your rib cage hits the chair, like that. And then your arm is up, and then your hand is like that. What happens is you get a very, very dramatic angle. And if your rib cage is on the chair, then you have a really nice angle. So, and it's easy to teach. It's easy to tell someone to do that. Okay, so go back on your spot. And then that's it. So now let's change it up a bit and let's put a red background behind the model. So as you can see, I've got a beige wall. All I need to do now is turn the head around and put in one of my red gels. And then I'll be able to change the color of the background to very spectacular red. And Perfect. Now, let me do one available light just so you guys can see what that looks like. I'm going to turn the flash off, and I'll just do one with available light. Whoa, you guys see this? It's so freaking crazy. It's amazing what a difference it is. Now let's do one with hair light. And so what I have here is a second uh, Photix P200 stand. I've got the second Mitros Plus with a... Um, collapsible snoot. And then I'm going to put the amber gel inside here because she has blonde hair and I'm going to make it really kind of glow very nicely. So I'm just going to put the tab right here inside the throat like that. And then I'll put the grid on. And the reason why I want the grill on is because I want to make sure light doesn't spill all over the place. Just go on the hair where I want it, direct it very, very tightly and do that. Now, um, this flash, just like the other one, has to be on channel one, but I've put this one now on power group B. Power group B allows me to change the ratio of how much is the hair light going to show versus the um, key light. So now this is going to be a little bit of experimentation, but the idea is, is to basically light up the hair. So I'm just going to move this around back in behind and... Let's get it out of the way of my shot. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to try different things. We'll just put it directly behind and out of the way like that. And I have myself a very, very nice hair light. I'm going to go a little bit higher so that we get more of the top. Just want to make sure that we don't see the light, but we want to give a nice halo to all of that hair. Yep, just like that. And there you have it.